You'll let me know, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. That might, not. <laughs> that might hurt you. I just want to pull it through and then push it down up here. Is that okay? The clinic at the rescue mission is open twice a week on Tuesday and Thursday evenings and that's primarily for men who are accessing the rescue mission for other services and then we're able to provide them with free health care including you know their medications and their labs, referrals to specialists or we can bring a specialist here. <laughs> so one of the things that we try to do is provide a different outlet besides going to the ER and also take the opportunity to teach the guys about when they need to go to the ER versus when it can wait a day and they can wait for us to come or, or what other access they would have to other services. This uh, clinic is, is unique in that it's run by physician assistant students in the DeSales PA program. And um, we have this as a requirement in their education for both their first and second years. And that's really unique among all student-run clinics, um, even when you're comparing to medical school programs. The majority of those um, programs are not in homeless shelters, first of all, and they're not required. Actually, only four medical schools require their students to participate in any kind of student-run clinic, let alone one in a homeless shelter. When you got the chest pain on Friday, was it as bad as the time that you had it that you had to go to the hospital? So I think it was just a humbling experience because patients are so thankful here. Patients, when you go to family practice, they know that they you're a phone call away. Um, so every single time you see a patient here, they shake your hand, they thank you, they have a big smile on their face. They know that you're here Tuesdays and Thursdays, but they can't just pick up the phone and call their doctor for help. So they really rely on the DeSales free clinic to get their um, medications and any health care advice that they may need. Yeah, it's like swollen. It's swollen. And it's not and normally and like and this. And so I think what happens is the students um, get to know these guys. They really engage in their care in terms of having ownership over what happens to them um, and wanting to follow through on their care plans. So um, it, it's it's unique in that way because there's they're not shadowing, they're not observing, they're doing. And that creates a different bond between two people.